Hey, Brandon here from the Debbie Deep Dive Podcast. Thanks for tuning into the scouting and film analysis of Penn State sophomore running back Journey Brown. If you're looking for Debbie content on YouTube, consider subscribing to my channel called the Debbie Deep Dive. Not only do I provide detailed scouting reports like this one, but I frequently post seasonal highlight videos of young Debbie players. I also host the Debbie Deep Dive podcast each week where I discuss the Debbie landscape strategy and introduce young Debbie assets to you to give you a leg up in your competition in your Debbie and Dynasty leagues. Journey was a three-star prospect, 51st ranked in his class. He received offers from Temple and Syracuse. Don't let the lack of offers from the big-time schools turn you off on this kid, man. He can play. 5'11", 206 pounds, and ran a blistering 4.2940 this past spring, and that is verified. He really turned it on at the uh, middle of last season. He ran for 129 attempts for 890 yards, 12 TDs, a 6.9 average, which is fantastic. 15 receptions for 134 yards for an 8.9-yard average per catch. And the man did not put the, the ball on the ground once last year. He had zero fumbles and 129 rush attempts, so he has ball security, which is just another feather in his cap. All right, let's take a quick uh, look at his strengths and areas of improvement. So his, co- his contact balance is fantastic. He's got a low center of gravity, good pad level and leg drive. He's tough, always fights for the extra yardage. Burst and speed, we already talked about his 40 time. He's very bursty, great accelerator off the line of scrimmage, often leaving defenders taking bad angles. Change of direction, another great strength that he has. He's very patient as he approaches the line of scrimmage and can move laterally really, really well. You know, very elusive when he's you know making up his mind to shoot and hit a gap. We're going to see that as well. And his pass catching, he is obviously able to catch the ball out of the backfield and I think he has a big opportunity to get more passes come this fall, which is only going to increase his draft stock. For his areas of improvement, I have here his pass protection. Is, uh, I've seen on film is not great, and it's not uncommon for a lot of young backs to continue to develop that skill set. And his lower body strength, the only reason I have that on here is because that's one that he mentioned in an interview that he is his main goal is to really, really increase his lower body strength, and he is not happy with where he is. And this was uh, an interview that he had uh, a couple months ago, so I know he's working and trying to beat Saquon Barkley's squatting record at Penn State. That is his main goal before he heads to the NFL. All right, let's get to some film. These first three plays are going to demonstrate his contact balance. Um, his, his body control is very sound. He controls defenders through his contact, you're going to see. Okay, the nice first play here. He's going to get nicked up by number 98 right there, makes a nice jab cut, and then he's off to the races. Pushes off with his left hand right there. We're going to take a look at this in slow motion again. Really nice play. Really nice jab step right there. Accelerates through the line of scrimmage. Number 98 reaching for him, gets a piece of him, but watch this jab step when he remains balanced right there. Bang, right there. Made that guy miss. Number 22 doesn't realize how fast he is. And I love his use of his left hand right there, kind of holding off contact and rambling down the field. And number 22 makes a really nice diving, tripped him up before he uh, almost scored a touchdown. Really good play. This play here is from Ohio State, again, just showing him running through traffic at the line of scrimmage. And remaining balanced and, again, watching guys miss, you know, everybody. Again, I love the use of his hands here. He uses that to kind of shield off the defender, number 32. And this defender right here is going to be coming after him. But, again, his burst and speed and his leg drive gets in for the touchdown. Really nice play by Journey Brown there. This is a really great play here because after he gets down in the field around in this area, he sidesteps after contact for another seven, eight yards, it looks like. Let's take a watch it, and then we'll look at it again in slow motion. Burst through the line of scrimmage right there. He got nicked up, and he goes sideways, and I love this this camera angle, this slow motion here. Number 26, misses. Look at all these defenders taking bad angles. Number three, miss. This guy, miss. All right, he gets a piece of him, but look what he does. He sidesteps for another five yards, keeping his balance, leg drive through that contact, diving for that that uh, first down there. That was really, really nice by Journey Brown. All right, man, these next two clips here are just going to show his explosiveness and his speed. Um, not much to say. It's, you're just going to watch, man. I mean, it's just the your eyeballs are going to tell you everything you need to see. I mean, look at him. No one's going to catch him. Nobody. 4.29 speed. He's going to make a nice cut here this next play through the line of scrimmage. And then when he gets that burst and he decided he's shooting the gap and he's done, look at him. Do you think anyone's catching this kid? Nope, I don't think so. So those are just two plays that just demonstrate his elite speed. 
I mean, that has got to translate well to the NFL. All right, so we just saw his blazing speed. I believe the journey's next best trade is his change of direction. And I'm going to throw in patience, too, at the line of scrimmage. So here's a great play here, showing his patience at the line of scrimmage, setting up this defender right here, okay? And you can see how early he makes his cut. Bad angle here. Furmuth makes a really nice block here. Again, and just his lateral a movement and his change of direction. And again, there's his burst guy diving for him again. Okay, showing that. Okay, here's another nice play where, again, he's just going to show you his, you know, he's patient as he approaches the line of scrimmage. And watch this cut right here. He makes, boom, right there. And goes around the end. And, of course, again, guys are diving for him. And then his burst just blows through the secondary like that. So great, great patience at the line of scrimmage there. And again, here's another nice play. He's going to come. He's going to be very patient. Is he going this way? Is he going this way? And watch what this guy just jock straps on the ground. Watch this guy here and watch what happens to him. Boom, right there. Oh, you see him diving for him? You know, and then he continues to move laterally. Another great cut right there. And then his burst and speed around the edge. He ain't going to catch him. Guy at a nice angle on number 11. So again, here's just another nice play where he approaches the line of scrimmage. He's going to make the cut back. Okay. Guy gets contact right there. Another nice cut right there to get another three or four yards. That's a hell of a play there. I believe that's uh, Fuller uh, from Ohio State, the defensive back. All right. So there you have it, man. I mean, as far as change of direction goes, uh, the guy is, is great when he comes to approaching the line of scrimmage from what I see on tape. So these next two plays are going to demonstrate Journey Brown's pass-catching ability. I think he could be a real weapon this fall, given the lack of wide receiver talent. Um, that Penn State's going to have going into the 2020 season next year. You know, you got Furmuth, the tight end, but other than that, so I think Journey Brown has the ability here uh, to, to contribute in the passing game for Penn State next year. So this is just a simple dump-off pass, but again, showing his burst and his, you know, just elite running through the field. This is a great play. He's going to take a fake handoff here. He's going to kind of find his way through the line of scrimmage and watch the body control and adjustment he makes on this catch right here. It's a poorly thrown ball, and like, I mean, he just makes it. Look at that. I mean, that is really nice. Look at that adjustment. Quickly secures the ball, turns up field, and lowers his pads and really just gets five or six more yards. It's a really nice play there by Journey Brown. So the bottom line to me is Journey Brown is an undervalued 2021 running back. I think that um, he's outside most uh, websites' tops 10 right now for 2021 running backs, which I think is a mistake. hope you enjoyed the little clips that I put together for you with some analysis. I'm going to leave you with... Um, Journey Brown's best game last year that you may have may have not seen. It was the Cotton Ball against Memphis. And um, when you watch the rest of this film, just take a look and think of the contact balance. Think of the pass catching. Think of the burst and the elite speed. Journey Brown, undervalued Debbie asset right now in the Debbie community. If you've got a Debbie draft coming up, go get yourself some Journey Brown. Enjoy the rest of the film. And thanks for watching. They hand it off, though, to Journey Brown, trying to get into the boundary and push out the inside receiver. They choose to run it. Journey Brown on a splendid journey. So long, room service. Touchdown. Isaac Bruce being a blessing to so many different people. On the cutback, this is Journey Brown. Ends up about two yards shy of the first down. Great. A couple years ago, the Bears. Jenny Brown still on its feet, broke a tackle across midfield, all the way down to the 45-yard line. Penn State moving quickly here. It's a school record. Game day down on Beale Street. This is Journey Brown taking another trip into the secondary, all the way down to the 30-yard line. They just gashed that front again. Ripped it wide open. That's Journey Brown out of the backfield. Got a block and tripped up about a yard short and follow CFP extra yard on behalf of all of us thank you to all teachers and in space boy Olivia was talking about Journey Brown getting checked out on the sidelines I think he checked out okay speaks to his coaching ability as well on the run this is Journey Brown Ryan Silverfield with it learned a great deal as his understudy out of the backfield complete to Brown Made one guy miss and push out of bounds right around the line of scrimmage. Penn State going fast as well. They hand it off to Journey Brown between the tackles, still on his feet. Bringing that smoke with the straight arm still going. 
What a journey! Touchdown!